Hi, I'm Jale. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Taurus. All aspects and all the cross watcher from the first up until and including the 15th of March 2021. If you have Taurus about aspects in your chart, this reading could be for you. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this doesn't resonate with you, could well be that, you know, check other aspects of your chart. Could well be that those reading resonates more. And or it could be that this is just not the, the time that I tell your story and or this is not the channel for you. Let's have a look at the theme for the Tauruses here first to the 15th. I'm hearing success, but let's have a look. First to the 15th, please, of March 2021 for the Taurus. What is the theme, Spirit? The Emperor. <laughs> I'm hearing success and I've seen cards that are not... We've got Emperor and the Devil. Lovely. Great. Okay, so let's see. Let's hope that... Um, okay uh not a problem <laughs> let's see what's going on here let's see what we can figure out i'm going to take these cards actually because okay spirit what can you tell me please for the taurus what is happening for tauruses sec okay so this card has just come out it's the king of pentacles so it's about nurturing something and then letting go of the outcome all right so let's just keep shuffling and see what else we are going to be shown here for the taurus reading so it looks like someone's trying to take charge of something but again shadow element could be coming up so something that maybe hasn't quite been resolved so let's see what else spirit please Taurus first for the 15th of March right okay so we've got the eight of pentacles so we've got someone working on something behind the scenes here, all right? We've got a, a Ten of Swords, we've got the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords. So we've got a, a person that's trying to work on a connection, a commitment to another energy. Uh, we've got the Two of Cups and we've got the High Priestess. So someone that they want to go towards, um, that they're working on a solution to. They're working on some kind of resolution where they can rejoin All right let's see what is that is that one that's wands isn't it so sorry i'm just having a look at so this is the page of wands so it's a create something's been created here in order to resolve this situation and overcoming a situation we've got judgment so working on a situation that will create freedom and close out something that they want to leave behind all right we've got the ten of pentacles and the four of wands so working on something that they want to develop and nurture and defend and defending that and walking away from a situation that doesn't serve so this is basically um it's interesting because there's a lot of confusion energy here about how to do that and again to disconnect with the the toxic energy to disconnect with something karmic um in order to move forward We've got the two of wands and the full. So it's about understanding how to do this. You know, it's not a matter of that they, they don't know. It's a matter of how. And also it's a matter of when, I think, as well. So it feels very toxic. Um, it feels like there's a, an imbalance of, of the path and that someone's debating how long they can keep going with this for. But 
it's like they need some kind of assurance but there's a lot of confusion about how to go about this and when to leave what to do there's a lot of confusion about how they're going to go about leaving this situation but they do they feel closed in they feel really closed in They don't know how successful they'll be in breaking away from this, which is why there's such an unknown. But they're trying to create some kind of um, energy to propel them forward to come away from what it is they're trying to leave behind. Um, they're just saying it's a very toxic energy. So we've got the Knight of what looks like the Knight of Wands. It looks like the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> so it's the it's it's an idea this is like someone's going to try and create or generate an idea um and there's an urge to race forward to burn it all down and conjure a new reality in its place um it's invaluable energy for surging ahead in goals especially creative ones so for deadlines and stuff um but you can't stay in that energy for that long so it could potentially create a bit of a burnout um so it's an ultimate sprinter's fuel to get them through a situation that looks particularly toxic um and also the, this person has to acknowledge that there there is going to be a recalibration once that energy that high energy kind of burns out a little bit um but we've got what looks like a turning of the tide so it looks like that energy is enough to propel this person into a shift possibly where they're creating a new or potential or re-establishing their place this looks like a, to a really karmic battle that someone is struggling um in closing out if i'm totally honest with you because it just looks like they are overwhelmed with how to go about this it looks like a battle over possibly finances or how to close out a cycle basically without someone getting the upper hand or someone's overlooking a, a detail that may make a difference as well so they're trying to push something forward but they may have overlooked a detail which may then recreate another cycle for this person to stay in um but they're definitely blocking this energy out they're definitely trying to block out movement so someone's trying to counter push them in a situation maybe they're someone's pressuring them to kind of reconcile or to to reinvest in a situation that is they don't want to be in but there's 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 like a tug of war going on here of escape it's like someone's trying to literally escape and the other person's trying to get them to reinvest it's like this tug of war that they're in they're in a tug of war basically um there's no and this is the problem it doesn't look like whatever this is that they've, they've got themselves into it looks like they're kind of stuck a little bit if i'm totally honest with you but we've got the devil we've got the eight of cups in the reverse and the moon and then the nine of wands so someone is trying to deliberately confuse this person to get them to reinvest and to not step away emotionally um they're trying to block them leaving this is a total block in someone leaving they're absolutely doing everything they can to it's like almost drown this person's thought processes so that they don't have the energy to leave that's it feels like that 
it feels like there, there's just a kind of um an overwhelming energetic kind of melee to make the person give up and stay this person is it's i mean again it's the devil versus the emperor with the hermit so this person's going to withdraw to try and protect themselves but whatever it is this is it's karmic energy so th this this kind of karmic energy wants to again toxic get them to reinvest get them to kind of stay stuck get them to not have that strength get them to stay where they are you know to, to for this devil energy to maintain their position um at, at all costs that's the energy that's coming through here um so we've got now the king of coins so this is someone standing really firm with the emperor and the king of pentacles together because this person has patience to kind of like a marathon runner to over overcome this energy um again they're trying to let it go to see where this takes them but they are definitely in charge of this but it's like who will give up first what energy will give up first what energy has what what entity has the energy to give up first because we've got the magician here and we've got the nine of pentacles so this masculine is going to try and create a new beginning a single beginning away from this devil this i'm not gonna lie <laughs> this is a different level of when i was doing started doing karmic readings this is a different level and that, do you know what makes me laugh i get people that are like don't you think it's really bad that you're focusing on a karmic and that you know isn't everyone a karmic yes but look look what we're dealing with here now if you don't want me to mention that i don't know what to say to you because it's kind of like the elephant in the room and if you don't know what that says it says the devil <laughs> Do we not, do we, because you, you don't just ignore darkness, right? You have to confront it. And this is what this person's doing because it's a reflection of their own inner subconscious and or karmic energy that needs to be resolved. So to ignore it is ridiculous. Anyway, they're trying to manifest a new beginning away from this energy. One, because it's going to be resolved, right? It's going to be acknowledged. So we've got the nine of swords. So there's a fear here. There's a defensive fear, all right, where they're going to be fiercely protective of manifesting this new beginning. Um, and I think the masculine is going to be so totally focused on doing that, that the devil is not going to want to, that to happen. Um, the karmic energy is going to try and block this freedom of movement so that the person doesn't have the opportunity to leave. That's the ideal. Um and again, it's game playing, it's excess. And you may sit there and go, well, why on earth would the karmic do that? Several reasons. It could be that, you know, everyone gets involved in relationship for different reasons, right? And some people get involved in relationships for security. And if their security is walking out the door, then it could be that they're taking on a very literal defensive manner in order to block their security leaving. Because again, if you're externalizing your happiness your security then of course someone is lower energy it's more toxic because subconscious energy may come out and want to defend that person's from leaving because they're, they're perceiving it as a threat but rather than this karmic doing the healing they're externalizing that pain and directing it towards the masculine and the masculine has probably got subconscious issues that have not yet been resolved which is why it's manifesting as this tug of war because what actually needs to happen is this person needs confidence and they probably manifested a situation like this in order to win and gain confidence. And there's also a karmic payback. So there's definitely, definitely different scenarios that would be the reason behind this. But again, use what would fit for your situation and only you're going to know what that is. And also this is a general reading, so I can't be exactly pinpointing every tiny element. So again, we've got the five of pentacles. So this is a perceived loss, right? either monetary wise or in in energy in 
you know in emotional kind of connectivity so again it's a defend a defense and uh to block someone leaving that and the queen of swords it's the queen of swords the karmics energy that will be defensive of protecting their you know them to they don't want the, the masculine to leave um So again, it's about healing old wounds. Um, so this is the nurture of communication. So someone's going to be very clear in how they communicate, but they'll do it at the detriment of the other person. Um, so this is about clearing up uh, a messy situation, basically, where this feminine feels like they're, they're losing something. And so they're prepared to defend that. We've got the three of cups and death. So again, this feminine may be very aware that there is no chance of reconciliation. There is possibly no chance or a lack of a reconciliation that's happening. And so because of that, we'll stand the ground to make the masculine rethink. And the more the masculine doesn't rethink, the more the feminine will be determined to stand their ground. Um, so there's a lack of gap balance, there's a lack of give and take, there's a very clear focus on communication and clarity that this karmic feels like there's, she's losing the relationship and or is losing her opportunity to be heard. And so we'll go into defensive attack mode almost. Um, we've got the page of cups here, so we've got the star. So this karmic will try and attempt to... Um, try and open themselves up emotionally so it's it's about expressing an emotion to try and create a healing energy and to keep their heart open to try and welcome that energy back in so the karmic will try and re-establish an emotional connection to rebuild a bridge so that they are not feeling that they have they're being pushed out because they do feel like they're being pushed out I think the masculine wants to end it with this karmic, but the karmic is not letting them. And that's the problem. Um, so we've got, again, the queen of swords feeling the, the burden, feeling the brunt of this. So there is a fight. There's a tug of war going on. The karmic is not accepting the end and will try and defend f at every cost even to their own detriment and even to the at the expense of everyone involved rather than accepting that a situation is over this person is determined to create issues so let's see what else we can figure out what else we've got here to contend with what else can you tell us please about the situation for taurus what else have we not discussed in this situation we've got peace in the reverse and regret in the reverse so there is no peace. This feels like a very, very toxic situation. It feels like this person just wants to close out the chapter and it's not being heard. And that's the problem there is there's a fight. Let's see. What else can you tell us, please? About what is happening here for Tauruses. Right, so there's going to be a lot of speculation at this point that it could be over because it's going to start spilling out into more public areas. So there's a lot of speculation here at the time, which may not be helping. All right. All right. And again, the speculation may be that there's other factors involved or there's another scenario that isn't really being discussed. All right. So again, there'll be a lot of people with a lot of different kind of influences and or voices on the situation. But let's have a look at the outcome. What is the outcome, please? For Taurus reading.
Right, let's take a look. We've got a desired outcome of being single, but that's a desired outcome, right? We've also got here, moving into calmer waters, and th there's a wish that they move, the masculine moves on to being single, but there's no opportunity from what I'm looking at here because it looks like we've got a, a, almost like a bit of a we've got a we've got a little bit of a rest where there's someone trying to stand their ground the masculine is trying to stand their ground that they're not they're not going to give up standing their ground but they're also not going to concede defeat so we've got a stalemate situation here where they they are desperately wanting to leave but this other person is not letting them um it's like whatever they're trying to do is, is being basically blocked so if this person's told them they want to leave this person's not letting them from where i'm looking um so and i feel like even if they haven't said that they want to leave they they know if they tell them they want to leave it will just create even more drama so there's obviously something that is blocking them from leaving could be a lease could be finances something that maybe they're having to buy their time with but let's have a look what is the outcome here taurus is reading what is the outcome from the first to the 15th of march what is the outcome so we've got deep knowing and a message in a bottle so there's definitely something here being revealed. What is this? So there's definitely some kind of truth here. So someone could be coming through with some information for this karmic to reveal a truth that again there's an ending point deep knowing so we've got king enlightened benevolent leadership benefiting those in your charge and inspires you to put compassion into action and queen so there's definitely someone this person knows that they're being pushed out and so they're trying to fight with every ounce of them um because we've got king and queen here with the advocate so someone is going to be trying to help bring these two together and move out the vampire the karmic the devil energy in order for this to happen but i don't know if it's going to happen at this point because it feels like there's too much going on here but let's have a look there's definitely someone um, possibly getting involved to help though what is the outcome what is the outcome here first to the 15th what is the outcome for Taurus spirit we've got the underworld a gate which is about endings in the mountain so it looks like there's still yet another energy to climb it doesn't look like it's the end it's, it's looking like the masculine has to stand the masculine's ground because someone doesn't want to give up the fight it's like someone knows that they're they're going to be ending the relationship and this this karmic doesn't is not letting go the karmic doesn't care about the fact that they don't want to be with this person they're they're, they're just going to hold on so from the first of 15th i'm seeing the masculine holding the ground standing ground and the karmic continuing like a tug of war we'll see for next uh, the end part of march if anything clears but Hopefully this has helped. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. Until next time, guys, take care.